Hello everyone, this is your very last page of notes for the whole school year. So get excited about that. It is almost summer, you can make it, we're almost there. Okay, so this slideshow is on thermochemistry calculations. There's a little bit of math involved, but it's not too bad. So a lot of times we're gonna be looking for heat, which can be um, found as the letter Q. So here's our equation for finding heat. Okay, so we're gonna multiply specific heat times mass times the temperature change. That little triangle, it means a change in temperature. So heat is represented by Q, as I said a second ago. The transfer of thermal energy between two bodies at different temperatures is what heat is. So here's an example, ice makes your hand cold, but the person's hand is melting the ice. So that is heat, there's a temperature change. Mass is gonna be the letter M. It's the measure of how much matter or atoms that are in an object. The more mass, the more atoms, so the more energy required to make those atoms move or heat up. Specific heat is gonna be represented by the letter C. It's the quantity of heat required to raise the temperature of one gram of a substance by one Kelvin. And then temperature change is delta T the quantitative measure of hot or cold. So we're, we'll be using the change in temperature for our calculations. Um, so it's just when you subtract your starting temperature and your ending temperature. So here's our, our um, equation one more time so you don't forget. Let's do an example. A flask containing 850 grams of water is heated until the temperature of the water increases from 5 degrees Celsius to 35 degrees Celsius. How much heat did the water absorb? So I gave you a hint. The specific heat for water is already known. So it's 4.184. Okay, so we're going to use that to solve for heat. So I plugged in all the stuff that I know so far. We're looking for Q, we're looking for heat. C is what we know about water, the specific heat. M is mass, we have 850 grams. And then delta T, the change in temperature, is just 35 minus five, so that's gonna be 30. So we're gonna plug all of our numbers into our equation. Q equals C times N times delta T. So when we do that, looks like this. 4.184 times 850 times 30 degrees Celsius. Okay, so when you multiply all of that, you should get 106,692 joules would be your unit. So that J stands for joules. Anytime you're measuring heat, you're always gonna have joules. All right, that's it guys. Congratulations on finishing chemistry. We will have some review in the next couple weeks, but you made it, we did it, we're all done. Bye guys.